In this lecture, let's go ahead and create our very first component in React. Now we already have this particular app component in here, but we won't be using that. Instead, we want to learn how a component is created from scratch. So in order to create a component, let's first have an organized way of creating components. So let's create a folder called as components in the source folder. So what I would do is that I would go inside the source folder and I would create a new folder in here and I will name this folder as components. And once we have this components folder here, let's create our first component. So as we all know that whenever we want to create a component, a component file should always have a .js extension. So I will create a new file here and let's call this component as hello. And always remember that whenever you are creating components, you always start with a capital letter. So I will say hello.js. So as you can see, the hello.js file is created. And in here, we will try to create a component in one of the most simplest ways. So in order to create a component, as I earlier mentioned, a component is nothing but it's simply a JavaScript function which accepts some props and returns some HTML. So I would say function, hello. So I would be making use of the regular JavaScript syntax for creating functions. I won't be using the ES6 syntax as of now, although you could use it, but to keep things simple, let's start off with the basics. So I would create a function called as hello here because our component is named as hello. And then I will make this function return some HTML. So I would say return. And let's say for now, I want to return a simple h1 tag. And inside this tag, I want to say hello world. So once I go ahead and do that, save this, now our component is created. So this is all fine and good. But now if I go back to the home page, hit refresh, as you can see, we still have this React app running and nowhere do we have hello world displayed up over here. And the reason for that is because whenever you have created the component, you also have to make sure that you add that components to your main interface. And your main project interface is defined by this particular app.js file, which is also another component. So now we have to take this component, hello.js, and nest it inside this app.js component. So in order to do that, first of all, you need to export the component from here and then import it inside app.js. So the question is how exactly would you export this particular component? So in order to export this hello component, you simply have to go below where you have declared your function and you have to say export default hello. So what this line of code means is that you are exporting this hello component and what default here means is that once this hello component is exported, you can import it in any file and give it any sort of name. So now let's go inside the app.js and import that component from here. So here in order to import that, I would say import, then the component name which is hello from, and here I need to mention the path from where I want to import. So you need to mention the path in quotations. And now as this particular hello.js is present in the components directory and the app.js file where we are importing that component lie in the same path or in the same directory. To get access to the same directory, I would say dot slash and then I would access the components directory and then give a slash and access the hello component. So you could also mention this thing as hello.js, but that is not required. You could simply mention hello up over here. So this actually imports this hello component over here inside our app.js. Now, once that component is created, now we need to use that component. So the question is how to use that component here and where exactly do we add that? So first of all, let's get rid of the code, which is this set of code here. So we will only be left with this div here for app. So apart from that, get rid of everything. And now as I have to use this hello component here, I simply have to use that component as you would use a regular HTML tag. So in case of a regular HTML tag, you would use uh, this kind of syntax. So for the heading tag, you would do something like this. 
However, for component, you simply have to use the name of the component like hello. Make sure that you have mentioned that in capitals. So you should have a opening tag and a closing tag, just like that. And now if you go to the home page, as you can see, all the content which was there previously disappeared because we have deleted a bunch of code from there and instead we have displayed up a hello component over there. Now one more thing which you could do with this is that you could actually go ahead and instead of using the opening and the closing tag, you could actually use a self-closing tag as well uh, like that. And this would work absolutely fine as well. Now, one more thing which you could do here is that you could actually modify this code and you could use ES6 syntax over here instead of having the regular functional syntax. So what I would do for now is that I would comment this code out, this part of the code, and then I would simply go ahead and create an ES6 function, which would also mean creating a component. So I would say const hello equals and use the arrow syntax just like that and make this thing return h1 and I would say hello there. So if I save this, go back here, you will have hello there up over here. So this is another way of creating functional component and that is by using the ES6 syntax. So you could use any of the syntaxes which you find suitable. For the sake of simplicity, I will actually stick with this, but I recommend that you use ES6 syntax once you're familiar with React. So as we are into the learning phase, let's stick with the simple syntax just like that so we understand how the code works. So this is how you go ahead and create a functional component in React. And the way in which component works is that a component simply renders whatever HTML is returned inside it. So in the next lecture, we will go ahead and learn about creating class-based components or class components in React. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.